East Carolina at BYU. This one's on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. BYU a three-point favorite. The total sits at 62. Of course, latest lines over at BetUS. Let's go on and pull it up on the screen here so you can see what we are looking at. BYU is 5-0 and against the spread in their last five Friday games. Remember, Friday games, not super common, but regardless. BYU is 8-1 and against the spread at home against teams with a winning record. They are 4-1 and against the spread in their last five against American Athletic Conference teams. East Carolina 1-9 and against the spread in their last 10 Friday night games. They are 5-2 and against the spread on the road uh, in their last seven. And they are 11-5 and five against the number in their last 16 overall. So East Carolina is certainly trending in the right direction under Mike Houston. While all those BYU numbers certainly look good, uh, you look at what they have done. By the way, these numbers are over the last five weeks. I'm taking the most recent data, uh, stuff that happened in week one, maybe not as relevant as right now. So as it looks currently, uh, my numbers would actually have East Carolina favored by... Eh, Point one points. I mean, it's it is a pick 'em. Uh, East Carolina's defense is not great. What you saw out of them against UCF was not so much that they were getting stops. It was that they got UCF to turn the ball over. I don't know how sustainable it is, or if you can rely on the other team to give you the ball frequently. I guess Iowa would say differently, but regardless, uh, you look at some of these numbers here. You look at standard down PPA. This is where I think. East Carolina could be in some trouble. BYU number 33 in that metric. Standard downs, basically uh, early downs, right? Uh, First, second down where you've got a reasonable amount of yardage to go to get a first down. East Carolina is number 113 in that metric on defense, so not great. Uh, BYU can't really run the ball. They're not great. They're number 124 in stuff rate allowed. East Carolina is number 8 in that spot. So there is a way that East Carolina can stuff them But as far as the pass goes, uh, that's where it gets a little bit tricky because even though East Carolina is number 130 in passing success rate uh, and BYU is number 72, so there's a little bit of an advantage there for the Cougars, uh, East Carolina is number five in havoc rate. Uh, You look over at BYU, they're number 72 in havoc allowed. So if Jaron Hall is running for his life and he's throwing picks and he's Uh, not able to get the ball out because he's being pressured, et cetera, that's obviously going to be a problem. Overall, like I look at this, and BYU's defense is so bad, and Holton Aylers has been playing uh, like his hair's on fire here lately. I mean, they are scoring a ton of points. I don't see anything that leans BYU for me in this game other than the fact that it is in Provo. And I don't know that that's enough for me to bet on BYU. So if I were going to pick this game... I would take East Carolina here. I this this BYU defense does not do anything well, really. Uh, they don't give up explosive runs. I guess that helps. But other than that, I mean, they're number one twenty five in PPA per pass over the last five weeks. ECU is number forty nine in that spot. Uh, PPA per rush, BYU's defense is number ninety. Rushing success rate is number one hundred seven. East Carolina number twenty three in the country in rushing success rate over the last five weeks. You look at fundamentals, turnover margin, that's in the favor of uh, East Carolina. Penalties per game, that one's in the favor of East Carolina. Yeah, uh, give me East Carolina plus the three on Friday night. I know the trends don't seem to go that way, but you look at the numbers, yeah, we'll we'll roll with East Carolina plus three in this spot until BYU can show us that they've got it figured out. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.